Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn few concepts about the environments in Power Automate desktop. First one, what is Power Automate environment? Second one, types of environments. Third one, how to create environments using Power Automate. And finally, we'll see how to switch the environments in Power Automate desktop. All right. First, we'll start with what is Power Automate environment. An environment is a place to store, manage, and share your organization flows, business data, apps, and chatbots. It also serves as a container to separate apps that might have different roles, security requirements, or target audience. Power Automate environment is a space in which you can create and securely isolate your flows, gateways, connections, and other resources. If you see on my screen, right now we are in the default environment over here. So that when you can create a desktop flow, you can choose an environment to host the flow and other resources can use these flows. You can use separate environment based on different scenarios over here. All right. Now we'll see what are the types of environments that what we have. There are multiple types of environments we are having. One is default, trail, sandbox, and production. Let me explain you one by one about these environments. First one is the default environment. This is a single default environment which is automatically created by Power Apps for each tenant and shared by all users in the tenant. Whenever a new user group signs up for the Power Automate, they are automatically added to the maker role of the default environment. The default environment is created in the region closest to the default region of the Azure Active Directory tenant. These are special types of production environment. Each tenant has a default environment that created automatically. If you come to the security, we are having limited control for that. All the licensed users have the environment maker role. Now we'll see the trail environment. Trail environments are intended to support short term testing needs and are automatically cleaned up after a short period of time. They expire after 30 days and are limited to one per user. Provisioning trail environment can be restricted to admins. You are having full control on that. Now, we'll talk about the sandbox environment. These are non-production environments which offer features like copy and reset, Sandbox environments are used for development and testing separate from production. Provisioning sandbox environments can be restricted to admin because production environment created can be blocked, but converting from production to a sandbox environment cannot be blocked. Over here also, if you come under the security, you will have full control. If you used for testing only, user access is needed. Developers require environment maker access to create the resources. Next one, production. This is intended to be used for permanent work in organizations. It can be created and owned by the administrator or anyone with the Power Apps license. This will provide 1 GB available of database capacity. These production environments are also created for each existing Dataverse database when it is upgraded to version 9.0 or later. Production environments are what you should use for any environments on which you depend. Here also, you have full control on the production environments. All right, now I will show you how to create environments using Power Automate. If you see on my screen, we are in the default environment. Each environment in Power Automate is created under an Azure Active Directory tenant, and its resources can be accessed by the users within the tenant. 
An environment is also bound to a geographic location like the United States. When you create an flow in an environment, that flow is routed only to data centers in the geographic location. Any item that you create in that environment, including apps, chatbots, connections, gateway using Microsoft Power Automate are also bounded to their environment's location. But right now, to create an environment using Power Automate Desktop, there is no option in the Power Automate Desktop software. Then in that case, how can we go ahead and we can create the environments? There are two ways to create the environments. One, by switching to flow.microsoft.com or we can directly go ahead and use admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Let me show you the two ways over here. Anyway, that from the Power Automate, it will redirect to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com to create the environments. Now, let me switch to the browser and I'm going to give flow.microsoft.com. After successful login into the Power Automate, there you can see right now we are in the default environment. There's no environments have been created. Now, to create the environment, on the right hand side, you will find the settings, click on that. And there you will find the admin center. Once you click on the admin center, it will redirect to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Let's click on that. There you can see, it has been redirected to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com slash environments. In my Power Platform, you can see I don't have any environments over here. Now, based on my requirement, I need to go ahead and I need to create the environments in such a way. If I required for the testing, then in that case, I will use Sandbox. If it is required for the production, in that case, I will use production environment. If I'm going to use for the trial version, in that case, I will use for the trial environment. Based on our requirement, we can go ahead and we can create our environments. All right. Now we are right now in the environments tab to create a new environment. We are going to click on new. And there, if you see on the right hand side, I got the new environment details over here. I need to provide all these details over here. Now I'm having a default environment so that I need to push all these flows into the particular environment for the testing purpose. I will say that environment as SIT. This is for the testing purpose, system integration testing. I'm going to give it as SIT environment. And there you can see the type of environments. As we discussed, I'm having sandbox, production, and trail. Right now, I will use trail version over here. And if you see the region, local environments can be provide quicker data access. By default, whatever the data center we are having closest data center, in that case, it will go to that data center whenever you're going to create the desktop flows or the flows. Right now, I'm going to select India default, which is the default region over here. And then I'm going to provide the purpose over here. I'm just going to give it as for testing. All right, this trail version having the full control. All right. Now, if you see, while I'm going to create an environment, it will ask to create a database or not. Now, if you see, if I'm going to create an environment, do you want to create it or not? If I'm going to click on yes, then it will create a database for that particular environment. Right now, I don't require that so that I'm going to click on no, and then I'm going to click on save to create the environment. It will take a little bit time to create the environment. There you can see, the environment with the name of SIT has created successfully. Now, if you see, I'm using the trial version, the remaining days, I'm having 30 days of trial period and the state is ready and the region is India and the created date is 30th October, 2021. All right. And you can see who is created by also, you will get all these details. In the same way, if you want to create production environments, in that case, what you can do, you will click on new, and there you will give the production environment name over here as prod and there from the type you are going to select production and after that you are going to select the region and the purpose of the environment 
and based on the your requirement if you want to create the database or not you can select that and then you are going to click on save right now uh, i am not going to create this production environment for the time being all right now i want to see the environment has been created successfully or not for the power automate how can we go ahead and do that just refresh it this flow.microsoft.com url and to get the details of the environment it will takes a little bit time okay once you have refreshed it on the right hand side you can see the environment right let's click on that there you can see first one is the default environment another one is the sit environment now in my default environment if you go for the my flows and you can see over there i am having cloud flows and then desktop flows i am i have created some flows in the default environment now once i am going to switch from one environment to another environment these flows will not be available in that environment there you can see the cloud flows and the desktop flows are not available in the sit environment all right now we will learn how to switch the environments using power automate desktop all right if you see over here previously we have seen how to switch the environment in the power automate which is a cloud platform right now we are in the power automate desktop there we need to switch the environments there is an option called environments on the top most there you can see the environments which has been created such a way we are having default environment another one sit environment which we have just created all right power automate desktop makes it easy to switch between the environments when you switch the environments you can see only the items that are created in the specific environment now i can see only the flows or desktop flows in the default environment when i'm going to select sit environment the flows which i have created in the sit environment that flows only available in the particular environment right now i have not created any in desktop flow in the sit environment to create that i need to create the database over here as we have seen whenever i am going to create an environment there it was asking create a database i have given it as no but for the power automate desktop we require the database to store all the flows in microsoft dataverse database so that we can go ahead and we can create the database over here all right now one more thing i would like to inform you whenever you are going to click on environments you don't find the environments which you have created in that case sign out the environment sign out the power automate desktop and try to log in once again into the power automate desktop which logins you have used to create the environments all right i hope you understand what is power automate environment and the types of environments what we have and also we have seen how to create the environments using power automate as well as admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and also we have seen how to switch the environments in power automate as well as power automate desktop as part of this tutorial Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a wonderful day.